Hello YouTube, this is Holly and Thorne with Fern the Camper and we have today a very quick review of one of the REI tents that we bought last year. Here is our review of REI's Camp Dome 4. So we bought the Camp Dome 4 when we wanted to go camping in Joshua Tree before we bought Fern but I expect we will be using her with Fern too if Thorne has friends over yes. and wants to um, stay in her own little spot, uh, spot or space. So the REI Camp Dome 4, it's supposed to fit four adults and um, if you're very comfortable with each other, it can physically fit four adults. So for the three of us, it was two adults and one child and we had room for all of our equipment that was with us, our change of clothes. We didn't keep any snacks with us, did we? Just water. Waters and our shoes were just outside. It worked pretty well, except that I did not do the cover correctly. Um, I, I staked the cover separately from the main tent and created a wind tunnel that was freezing. So Thorne slept well all night Yeah. because I gave her all the extra blankets. Um, Clive slept pretty well. I didn't. So I was up all night. Um, did you hear the wolves howling? I didn't. They were not wolves. They were coyotes. I, In my half asleep mind they seemed like wolves and they were right next to us but the coyotes were howling at the full moon and it was very wild. It was very exciting um, and very very windy. So don't do what I did and stake the covers separately unless you actually want a really good breeze, in which case, do that. The tent itself does breathe very nicely. I'll try to give you a uh, better close up behind us. This is mesh on the first layer and then the, the roof goes on top of that. And above there's even more room, more room for breathing space. So it's a, it's a good little tent. It uh, wasn't the cheapest tent. You can find cheaper tents out there, but it's lightweight and um, not bad dimensions. It's overall, what do you think? Great. Great? What, yes. What would you want to change about this tent? I would um, probably like um, to change the white to like a very light blue. Uh-huh, so like a color change? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I can see how that would be pretty. So let me take you on some of the features that this camp has. Okay, so inside the tent, we have got quite a few nifty little features. We've got a place at the top where you can hook your light, just here. I have a nice mini light. I don't know if you can see that. Um, like a tiny, tiny night light if, if you don't want to wake everyone up when you have to leave. There are quite a few toggles if you want to pull back your curtains, you can do that. You've got... Whoop, two windows and slash doors on either side. This one's zipped up. Good screens on both, just like most standard tents. And uh, four corners have these pockets here. So the tent is pretty easy to put together. I did it myself in five minutes. And if you forget how to put the tent together, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll, I'll show you in the pictures. And um, yeah, just two massive poles on either end and then a third just to get the top um, entryway open. Looks kind of pretty, kind of breezy, light and easy. Yes. What do you say, two thumbs up? Uh, I'll say like, 100 thumbs up. 100 thumbs up. There you go. All right. Enjoy.